Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fable 2. All right, when we left off, I was not in Old Town. I came to Old Town to uh, check if the weapon stall had, uh, well, upgraded its inventory, and it did. It had a uh, augmentable steel katana, which you see I have augmented now. I put the uh, golden touch augment I got on it, and... Uh, the ghoul augment I put onto a steel flintlock pistol, which they also had an augment slotted one right there. So I bought it up, traded it in for my old longsword and pistol, even though they weren't that old. They were both still steel as well. And just put augments on them. Also bought replacement augments should these ones fall out of favor, should I get master weapons or whatever. So I'm pretty much set. Also, while I was here, I took the time to buy all the buildings. I own everything in Old Town now. Yep. I'm that kind of person. <laughs> Yay! So, now that I don't have to do that on camera, might as well run back to the market and head over to that quest that I was supposed to do. I think there's like five I need to do. Not entirely sure. Yeah, I should probably check. I was drinking my coffee and the loading screen went way too fast. Um, hmm. There's the gargoyles. I'm pretty sure I've destroyed at least ten gargoyles, but I have not gone to the cave yet. Mainly because I wanted to show what you can get out of that. Oh, I do not want to go there. I want to go here. Yep, and... Oh, I can travel to the gargoyles' trove. I do didn't realize I could fast travel there. Huh, how about that? <laughs> Makes it easy. Alrighty. Now that I've killed ten of the motherfuckers. Ah. That's the door that opens. Right. Or portcullis. Close enough for government work. Onward we go! Whoop. Doggo. Oh, you... You know where the treasure is supposed to go, huh? You know where I'm going next? Huh? There you go. That's the boy. That's the boy. And... Dog Tricks the Growl. And that's it. Okay, well then. Up, oh, Doggo, get over here. There we go. You now growl on command to see him do this perform any scary expression. Well, if I decide to be evil at some point, I have that option. Ah. Oh, yeah. That's supposed to be a bridge, eventually? I think that's what it's supposed to be. What those lights are. And eventually it'll lead to that chest way over there, I think. I've never done it. Don't know. I'm just guessing with what I can ascertain from what I see. And that's it. Can I walk on that already? Is it? Yes, I can. But only up to here. Okay. That confirms my theory. Okay. Onward we go to... Let's do the main quest. We've been fucking around for a long enough time. I think. Uh, we got to return to the guild. There we go. Take 27 hours to get there. That's fine. Get passing the days. It's fine. Hello. It sounds like you could have used my help after all. I knew I should have come. Yeah. We cannot allow Lucian to keep Garth. You must get him out of there. Fair. There being a spire. We don't even know what's inside that thing, much less how to get there. It true. There is one who might know. When cool. Lucian left for the Spire, he essentially abandoned his staff. His old butler, Jeeves, now spends his days at the Khan Corset. Oh, that's what you meant his by staff. His butler? I bet he saw his fair share of dirty dealings. Oh, for sure. Well, if it means a trip to the pub, we'll just have to make that sacrifice. The task requires Just have to make it. Legacy. Something I believe you're unfamiliar with, Hammer. Oh. Oh, that Why was... Why are you staring at me? Because you just this insulted her. This is the her. part where you say, no offense? Yeah. 
Hmm. Looks like you're on your own again. Yeah. There is sorry. no time to waste. Go now. You, you should go to the coward corset in Bowerstone and talk to Jeeves. Teresa, apologize. Come on. Guess I'm to stay here. I'll just stay over here, being indelicate and tactless. Well, to be fair, I think you have your moments where you can be. It's just not often. No offense. <laughs> no offense meant. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Time to get out of that awkward situation. <laughs> that's a uh, that's a particular moment you don't like sitting on. Or in, for that matter. Gotta love word salad. Okay. Time to get the fuck out of here. Uh, where am I supposed to go? I keep hitting the wrong button. Even though it doesn't really do anything. Um, hmm. I could go to Knothole Island. Or do the snow globe. Because I kind of want to. But I guess I gotta go back to Bowerstone Market. To, uh, talk to Jeeves. Huh. I guess I could do that. I'll end up in the same place anyway, to start those other ones, so fuck it, might as well. <sighs> Alrighty. I'm gonna drink some of my coffee now. Why are those so fast? Jesus, okay. No, kiddo, don't run in front of me. Shiza. Okay. Now to waltz into the town, which I own. Jesus Christ, all of y'all being so loud. Understandable, so, but still. for a thousand, I could buy a house, and... Where does one even find concubines? Is there a concubine shop? Um, I could buy usually... a wig. Something without mice in it. Yeah, that'd be nice. And I think so the word you're looking for is brothel. Options. Yeah. I see oh, you. Jeeves. Well, oh, well, well. Another offer. Dear uh -huh. me. So many inquisitive minds. Yes. So many who wish to know all Lucian's dirty little secrets. Can you blame me? Well, everything you want to know is all written down. And I know well. Oh, do you? And here's something else that's written down. My price. Don't let anyone else see it. Don't let anyone else see it, huh? Jeeves's note. Okay. One... You know what you could spend that gold on? Fucking spelling lessons. That would be great. And it also explains why he didn't want anyone else to see it. Because, wow. That's bad. Now me, having been a person who read the book Flowers for Algernon, I can translate this pretty much no problem within a second. But, uh, <laughs> although to be fair, it's not even that hard. Uh, I shouldn't be tooting my own horn as much as I am, but, but anyway, uh, <laughs> okay, 1,000 gold pieces. Can I give you it's more just to Take get you a better me. education? Lucian's diary is a riveting read, I assure you. Riveting I'm sure read. Some private collector mm. will make a nice place for it in his equally private home. Oh, well then, I should now, probably unless you've got buy a proposition, it. Huh? I suggest you leave me to my whiskey. <laughs> Your whiskey, huh? Well, I have this. Well, I have like a hundred, four hundred thousand gold, <laughs> almost four hundred and fifty thousand gold. So this should be no problem no. at all. You have the money? My thanks. It's a juicy little collection. I assure you, you won't regret it. Will I? Okay. And she I seems to want a present. I diary for safekeeping. This is the map to its location. Oh, okay. Theme music. Map to Lucian's diary. Lest the fire waters I am so fond of imbibing these days burn the memory from my mind, here are the instructions for finding Lord Lucian's diaries. Why are you spelling so good here? Were you just drunk when you wrote the other one? 
Okay. Apparently the uh, whiskey burned spelling out of your brain, too. Okay. Here are the instructions for finding Lord Lucian's diaries. Perhaps I can sell them one day and make a profit off the old tyrant. In Bower Lake, lying in the shadow of the hill named after heroes, are the stumps of three trees. In that spot, I have buried his diary. Okay. Well, it is myself, but I've got some money to spend. <laughs> yeah. He's far uh, too cowardly to double cross you. Yeah, the map that's will true. Lead you to the diaries. Fair enough. And also, Pete needs to buy Pooker's education. <laughs> And a place to stay. With the hookers, I guess. <laughs> Rancid water, ew. Uh, box wine, ew. Barely better. What is in here? Popper shirt? Popper shirt? How dare you! You bunch of bastards. Okay. Balverine spleen. Ew. Ew. I... Does it taste like it, or is it from it? it? Really Either way, ew! Okay. I'm gonna talk to a bar guy and sell the shit. I've stolen your heart, huh? Well, I did not try, not with Balvar and Spleen Bear in my inventory. Believe me. Sangoose Rum, I don't need that. I don't need that shit. Uh, what do you have that's actually worth something? Ooh. You have spring water. Excellent choice. Surprise, it's port. <laughs> make yourself drunk. Oh, make others I drunk. Really What's not to like? That. And any port in a storm. Surprise, it's port. <laughs> That's always fine. Um. Hmm. This is Yeah, less fattening than the stout, so sure, why not? Sure. Remember. No and fun. banana Remember, juice, no quality one. banana juice. Excellent choice. May I add, it's not just, it's just, just not banana juice. It's quality banana juice. It's quality. It's quality. Now, why am I trying to attempt that <laughs> particular sound? Uh, any port in a storm? Let's sell those. Don't need Always have any of those. Your unwanted goods. Um. I did have well water. Okay. Well, I guess three stars is good enough. Excellent choice. For some. There we go. Perfect. Not finished just yet. Bloodstone special. Thank you very much. Bloodstone special. Like huh? That's a, that's a thing. Jim, for the love of fuck, I do not want to marry you. I don't know. Do not want to marry anyone. At this point, I'm just advancing my money. You're not going to put the prices up, are you? No, of course not. At some point, I might even lower them. Some point. I'm not sure what point. But some point. Hi. That's Did all I you need you? to know. That's all I need to know. Oh, yeah, the things. I forgot about the things. The other things. The thingy things. Which are You'll be amazed thingies. Low, low okay. <laughs> We're Onward. To uh, this one doesn't move me from the spot. Oh yeah, I own the entirety of this town. I own the entirety of own old town. I will eventually own all of the uh, little camp outside, the lake camp. Buy the cursed snow globe well, for five gold. I see a hero before me. Who else would have recognized a genuine magical music box after all? Yes. I remember you. You remember me. You remember me, don't you? Mergo, of course. How could I not? How could I not with that giant fucking hat? Mystical apparatuses and enchanted items. Those two. I hear you've spent some time with those Oakfield monks. I yeah. tried to go into business with them selling model golden oaks, but they weren't too keen. Yeah, they probably saw it as blasphemy. As it happens, the very same source who procured that box has promised to bring me a new item every bit as remarkable. One that lets you see into the future. Oh, yes. 
Ah, we'll be but getting that. Now, we shall have to content ourselves with a pretty but slightly cursed snow globe. Slightly cursed, you say? My source assures me that only a hero such as your good self can release the miniature village inside from its the torment. The miniature village inside? Make this once-in-a-lifetime purchase and you can cast your eyes on my very best stock. None of that rubbish I sell the tourists. That's a Murgo promise. In fact, here's a few bits to get your started. You said promise. You said promise. You fucking went Elmer Fudd there. Okay. Wellies soldier helmet. Or that's how you pronounce it, right? Wellies? I don't know. Someone who's British, let me know. <laughs> because you probably know better than I do. Okay. Wellies soldier helmet. Murgo pay me model. Pay me. You motherfucker. Okay. And braided ponytail. That's not for me. But, uh, that's, that's a thing. Seduce lovers and entrance enemies with the intricate weave of this hairstyle. It's based on the mane of the legendary four-legged pony. A huge, majestic... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> four-legged pony. Have these people never seen a horse? Ever? Okay. Alright. A huge, majestic creature who could traverse continents with a single bound. Yeah, they have never seen a horse before, apparently. Okay. Well, then. That's a, uh... That's a thing. And the Psycho Jester makeup. Okay. I have the ability to become a juggalo now. Jesters are notoriously prone to losing their minds and going on horrific killing sprees. It's the bells on their hats that catalyze it. Yep, I'm sure. And Trader's Game. Oh, an expression manual. Oh, yeah, that teaches me the hat headband mustache. Dang. That's actually good to have. And the backflip. Animal lover, dog trainer, and circus owner Rafina Musket wrote this series of books to pass on her intimate knowledge of canine psychology. Use this book to teach your dog how to do a backflip. Hey, doggo. Teach you a trick. There we go. To see him do this... Show off a trophy, or play a game of hat, headband, mustache. Alrighty. Which reminds me, I need to read that book now. Make sure I got it. Um, objection overruled. Okay. Uh, Raider's Game. There we go. Expression learned. I noticed there was a couple other books I could read that I never got around to. Uh, Dead Handy. Ah, Play Dead. To be fair, Dead Handy is a different sound entirely. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to go into what that sounds like, but uh, it's certainly a thing that you can probably Google and not get scarred for life. Maybe. Okay, there was, there was another book. I know there was another book. Where the fuck it go? Huh. You guys saw that, right? There was another book there. It just disappeared. Eh, yeah, fuck it. We'll just use the five gold out of that 6,735 that I just got and buy this cursed snow globe. And don't forget to browse my wares. It's not Absolutely. all tat. It's not all? Hmm. Well, in that case, I have let's only look. the rarest, most wondrous items in stock. The rarest? Okay, fair enough. Better than Elmer fudding it. Ooh! I can buy this. You won't find a more astonishing object in the universe. Oh, yeah? Transform your dog into a magnificent husky, a breed once common to the northern wastes where it was used to make pleasing paw prints in the snow. This potion will also improve your dog's fighting abilities if he isn't already the ultimate canine warrior. Well, that's an idea. You couldn't have bought a more fabulous item. I'm sure I couldn't have. Oh, yeah, there's the coat. For the uh, helmet, the artist and mystic Arthur Welly painted an enormous battlefield filled with strange soldiers wearing uniforms such as this one. 
He claimed it was a vision of war hundreds of years in the future. This coat doesn't keep you toasty. Doesn't just keep you toasty, rather. It makes you feel important. Ah! Ah! Ah, it's a red coat. Uh, I can make that joke because I'm American. <laughs> okay. Well. Now that I have the potion, I might as well give it to my doggo. Your dog can now chase his tail. Oh. <laughs> to see him do this, perform a vulgar thrust or a victory arm pump, or put on a hand puppet show. Oh, it's a cutie puppy. Oh, it's a big cutie baby. Oh, look at him. Are you a shy My friends keep asking me why I haven't got an engagement. Because I don't want to marry you. That's why you don't. Then try my patented symbol pants and never be ignored again. Symbol pants never be ignored again. Well, that's one way to avoid getting ignored and also avoid having friends. Anyway, uh, let's use that snow globe we just got, because apparently we're supposed to. Um, yeah, there we go. This small snow globe contains a very realistic model of a village. If you hold it to your ear, you can just make out the distant sounds of people screaming. Well then, that's a thing. Saving content. As we are being warped into the snow globe. Loading snow globe. The Cult of Shadows was established shortly after the dissolution of the Temple of Scorn. I couldn't say dissolution right. It fell into ruin when blip 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 turp tar. Fuck me. I can't read anything, apparently. The game doesn't want to let me. Investigate the curse. My sword is blue now. And my gun is yellow. Hmm. Curious. Well, we'll get into investigating this curse in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and getting into whatever the hell this is after buying up a whole bunch of new upgrades and buildings for you.